I'm going to show you how I take a jelly print and use that as a jumping off point for a piece of um, art. If you're not familiar with the jelly plate, it is this great, squishy, wonderful thing that you put paint on and then make prints with. Uh, there are lots of different ways to use the jelly plate. There are all sorts of techniques to use with it. Um, so many, in fact, that I built the workshop, Jelly Printing, which starts on April 1st. Um, but this is, when I'm making these, I just make a ton of pages because it's, it's frankly, it's just fun. I have a good time. I get lost in it. And I, the layers of colors build up. Later on, I'll go back and I'll look and I'll say, okay, which print is calling to me? So I'll look through my stack and say, and this is the one that really called to me today. Loved the colors and layers on this. And the church stencil, this one's from Artist Cellar, the cathedral stencil. That window right there is what grabbed my eye. All this stuff, and that's what did it. And then I've got this big blank spot over here. So I'm letting the print give me a hint as to where it wants to go. So I've got the blank spot and I've got the uh, cathedral window here. So I'm actually going to pull out another stencil. This one is by uh, Dina Wakeley. And this is her, her church windows. And I need a color that's going to stand out against this because there's, there's a lot happening there. I've got some purples and hot okay, pinks there. So I want a color that's really going to stand out. Whoops, that was a lot of paint. I want a color that's really going to stand out. So I'm going with that one. Boy, did I squirt a lot of that paint out. Oh, well. I guess that means I get to use a lot. It is a very fluid paint, so I just want a little bit on there, and then I'm going to pounce on this. I am going straight up and down so that the paint does not go underneath the stencil, because I would like to hang on to that definition. I am using a very heavy bristled brush, and it's cheap. It's like in the kids section at Michael's. That way I can have lots of them. Yeah, this was a good choice. Good color choice. This color is, can you see, there you go, you can see which one it is. Um, and if I just squirted a little bit out there like what I really needed, it wouldn't take much paint at all. And this has just a fantastic pinky purpleiness to it. I'm thinking this one will stand out, but it's also translucent, so little bits of the background can come through. All right. Okay, so that's a place for me to start with that. So now I'm kind of building the composition. So I've got the big window here. I've got the word trust sort of buried and hidden in there. And so I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so I've got a bunch of this paint left over. And this is the only place that this color is on here. So I'm actually going to put it, I'm going to add touches of it kind of over here. I guess I'm adding more than touches, aren't I? Oh, well. I can add a bunch of it. And that'll sort of balance out the colors. This is a very, it's basically you're using almost a dry brush when doing this. So now I've got some contrast. I've got the dark over here, but I've still got the white parts up here. I really like that contrast. So that part, I'm hoping that I keep white. But I have a problem with white space, so we'll see if I manage to keep it as white. And this stuff, because it's such a thin layer, it dries very, very quickly. And what I'm going to do is grab my Stabilo pencil, make sure that it is nice and sharp, because it it's such a fine not fine, it's such a soft pencil lead that's in there that it um, wears down quickly. And then I am just going to go real loosely. I, this is my favorite thing to do with this stencil. I love doing this. I love the look of it. Alright, so there is now I've kind of helped that 
pop out. Got the whole paint thing going on here. And I've got the word trust buried up there. I'm not going to pull that out anymore. I like that, that it's kind of hidden in there. Um, if you took my Use Your Words workshop, which is free, um, and you can sign up on my website for it, that was one of my one of the words I use quite a bit in there. I've got trust. I've got this whole church thing. I've got this feeling of worship. Um, so I am actually going to try and put in the words, worship your muse. The question is, where do I put it? Do I just put it here? And that doesn't give me much over here. Do I put it down along here? Or do I put it right there? So I know I want to put Muse really big here. So I'm, I want to do Worship Your Muse, and I'm going to kind of do it here, that way. So I'm going to start by writing the Muse part, because that's the big one. It's going to be the handwritten. So I'm going to show you my trick for how I do that, because I don't space things very well at all. So I need a piece of paper, and that paper is about the size of what I want it to be. Muse has four letters in it, so that is handy. So I'm dividing folding this paper into four parts, so you can kind of see how that works. And so now I'm just going to test it out on here and see if I like... Uh -oh. Do I like how that looks? I kind of do. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to use that as a guide for me. So that gives me an idea of how I want to space this as I'm going. So I'm going to start all the way over here. And that's how I can get. Now it doesn't stand out much there, but wait till I'm done. Because I'm gonna make that that thing will just pop by the time we're done. So I'm gonna quit, quit messing. I gotta quit messing. Alright, so then the next word is your. And the question is do I do it in big or little? So I've got bigger. You know what? I am gonna do your in the big ones. So just some big letter stickers, and I am not pushing it down, I am just putting it there. Oh, the zero look is low. So don't push it down, because I'm, or when you're doing it, don't push it down until you're really sure it's where you want it. All right. So now I need to find the center of the page again, and this is where my folded paper will work nicely for me is I kind of put this back here so I've got the four spots so you can see where those fold lines are. So that's going to be the center. Do I want to center this or not? And I have to decide that if I want to do that. It's a four letter word. <laughs> well that makes it sound like a bad word. It's not a bad word. And if I kind of space it like that So if I put it, I like it there. I'm still not pushing down. Don't push down yet. Because, well, I don't push down yet because I change my mind a lot. A whole lot. So now I've got to do the word worship. And come on, little W. Hmm, I can already see issue with that. Okay, W. Oh. Our worship. Yes. See, and this is where on camera we get to see if I can spell or not. There's worship. I think I'm in good shape on this one. Although I, it's been embarrassing how many times I've misspelled things. Worship. Worship. P. P. There's a P. Okay. So I'm going to move my letters out of the way, my extra letters.
And so at this point, I am actually I am going to push down the your. Let's see if I get that one just the way I want it. Okay, so I'm going to push all those letters down. And then the muse is not standing out very much, but I knew that would happen. So I'll be back. So I grabbed a cup of water, and then I'm going to grab a paintbrush and just put the paintbrush in the water. And then I'm going to trace over the word. And the Stabilo pencil reacts to water. And by getting that white, it'll thicken up the lines a little bit as it spreads around and makes it really stand out. And now you can see how much darker that is. Boy, that's not dark enough over there. So I want a little bit more over here, so I'm going to add some more water. See if I can't get it to darken up. There. So it turns out I did worship my muse today. I took a look at this jelly print and decided what was in it, what was speaking to me, and then built on that.